Freshman picture of the homeless. Uh, yes, uh, thanks for everybody for being here today. Um, the first thing I'd like to do is to thank John for uh, doing what John has been doing for the past 30 years, which is raising up the heart of this city so that, um, you know, those of you and out there who become fatalistic or pessimistic or who have become distracted, refocus and understand that it's a long struggle and uh, particularly for young people um, that they, uh, we need to get involved. So again, I'm, I'm grateful for John for calling us here to get today to address this issue of NYU and uh, the question of homeless uh, housing for homeless people. There, as you know, there's a crisis in New York City of homeless. Um, we have some 50,000 children, women, and men, with women and children being the fastest growing demographic in the homeless uh, population. There is presently in New York City, according to a recent survey that was taken by Picture the Homeless, enough vacant housing in New York City to house every homeless person three times over. So it's, there's not, it's not a question of having to construct new housing for the homeless population in this city. It's a question of utilizing the vacant spaces. So as a squatter, there's two roads to take. We can either exert our human right to a home through direct action, through squatting, which is what I advocate. In other words, put flesh on the bones of an otherwise abstract right, human right to a home through direct action. And seize the vacant property throughout this city, organize horizontally in the communities for self-defense, and take the housing that is ours, that we need. Or we can try to lobby the city to reinstate an urban homesteading program. An urban homesteading program which would allow groups of qualified individuals to go into vacant spaces and renovate them in a permitted way. We had an urban homesteading program in New York City up until 1986. So it's not, it's not something that hasn't existed in this city before. The question is, is what is NYU going to do about this? NYU is an institution that is in the market of creating uh, houses for their students and for running an institution of higher education. Well, I suggest that part of that higher education is education in moral sensibility and understanding. Within the housing, affordable housing movement now, there's a phrase that's being used which call, is, call, is uh, labeled income integration. And that the goal is, is that we want to create communities that are income integrated, where there, are, there is a diversity of communities that are housed within those communities. Now, I assume that NYU is a, is a supporter of that, that goal. But I suggest that their policies, in terms of what they do, in terms of creating housing, is completely one-sided. We have to figure out what it is, where it is in NYU, and the students at NYU are in the best position to exert pressure on this from within. We have to figure out where in NYU are those offices and individuals that are responsible for the real estate machinations of this university. It's not going to be every office and every facility within NYU. It's a large institution. We need to identify where those decisions are made, and that's where the pressure needs to be put by the students, primarily, in NYU. We have to organize within the institutions. We have to demand that NY create housing that is affordable and accessible to poor and working class families. Even the real estate industry at this point utilizes a so-called 80-20 model where they're allowed to build market rate housing as long as they create 20% affordable housing. Now we know that's a wedge for them to get into communities and gentrify. Granted, but still, NYU doesn't even meet that standard. They're building housing here that's displacing poor working class families and they're not doing a damn thing about the human rights crisis. Crime that's occurring right all around us in this city. 
So I want to suggest that what we do is we organize a campaign that's ongoing that reaches out and reaches within the university itself and begins to raise Cain inside this university and shake it up so that they understand that we're not here just for today. That we're here to make, make sure that NYU places some dollars behind either an urban homesteading program, which could use funds to renovate the vacant spaces in this city, creates affordable housing, creates me means and methods that we can begin to address the crisis of homelessness in this city. There are homeless vets on the streets. There are women and children on the streets. This is an obscenity. If this university tells itself as a university that is truly about an education that is informed with moral sensibility and reason, then they need to step up to the plate. So let's get working. Let's not see this as just a one-shot deal where we're, we're shouting in the dark. We need to organize. Picture the homeless as an organization that needs your support. They have a bill at the city council which would mandate an annual census of all the vacant properties in New York. Christine Quinn, the, uh, the opposition to our mayoral candidate here, is sitting on that bill. They don't even want to count the vacant houses in New York. Because then you'd know that one third of those houses would house all the homeless people in New York. They don't want you to know that. The Rights of the City campaign has a Housing for All campaign which is getting ready to get on track. Stay involved. We need to reach out, we need to organize, agitate, and bring some heat to this university. Turn it into a people's university. Thank you. Frank Morales!